Well, I think it's maintaining the quality of services uh, that we have for the residents and continuing to improve the quality of life in the community. First and foremost is public safety. And I, we are proposing the addition of three patrol officers for the police department, which has not had a net increase in their patrol staffing for a good number of years. We want to be more responsive uh, to neighborhoods for the request to uh, have some more presence. It's not due to a spike in crime, but it's frankly just a responsiveness and an ability for our officers to operate at a level where we aren't constantly having to cover and spread uh, due to folks occasionally being out, uh, but also to be able, whether it's a speed patrol or foot patrol or a bicycle patrol, uh, as requested by neighborhoods, we thought it was very important to be able to respond to those types of requests on behalf of our residents. We really don't have staffing levels presently that allow us to do that very well. We do some of it, but not as much as we would like and not as much as the demand suggests. So at this point with this budget, it would be the beginning of some additional staffing. I don't believe it will end with this coming fiscal year. I'd like to look at eventually uh, a study that would determine objectively what the staffing levels of our police department needs to be for the next five years with heavy involvement by the officers themselves uh, as well as residents. And we'd like to have a conversation and I think this will be tied to my upcoming search for a new police chief is what type of policing, how do you feel about the policing in this community? Do you feel safe? Do you feel that we should be doing more of some things? Perhaps less of some others. And we believe that this is a first step in addressing, you know, putting some resources in place that will allow us to address those kind of concerns that we anticipate we will hear from residents when we have that conversation with them in the near future.